What is going on, Mousetrap? It is I, Tesla Center, being ready Wi Fi Bounty Overuse tier against Lance10133. He is a newer follower on my channel, and that same day he followed, he managed to get a bell, and we do it down the OU tier. Now, check out his team real quick. He's got a Rotom Wash, he's got a Mega Venus, he's got a Volcan, he's got a Hitmontop, Weavile, and Bronzong. On our team, we have Rotom Wash, we have Lodius, we have Lando T, we have Kunkle there, we have Mega Beedrill, and we have Heatran. So, he's got that very annoying, um, Volcano and Mega Venusaur core going on along with some bronze song. Which can either have heat proof or levity. Or light metal too, but no one really uses light metal bronze song in competitive. Uh, heat proof basically reduces the damage of fire type moves, and levity makes it so ground type moves do not affect you. So either way, one of um, bronze song's two main abilities will cancel out one of its weaknesses. You kinda have to play around with it or around it to figure out which one it is, or just not use either fire or ground type attacks at all and just use brute force against it to get through it. I and mean, him on top is a rapid spinner, and basically only has one rock setter and one rapid spinner slash defogger. If we get rid of the bronze song and get rid of the rocks on the side of the field, we'll be good. We don't have to worry about them again. I am not really hurting that much put rocks on his side of the field, seeing how bronze song and him on top resist them. Granted, they would be great to do chip damage and stuff like Volcano and Weavile, but it's not a huge priority. But let's go ahead and get right into this battle, guys, against Lance10133 in the Overuse tier. I see he's a Mega Venusaur team against my Mega Beedrill team. So yeah, my plan is to lead off his Rotom Wash, as am I. And I'm glad he didn't lead off the with the Mega Venusaur, so I go for the Volt Switch, hoping to you know, switch into the Kong there on his will o -Wisp. But unfortunately for him, he does play Smart here and he actually goes to the Volt Switch himself, so Sally did not get a free Guts boost on this Kong. So he's going to go out with Washington, he's going to send in his Let It Rip to hit him on top next. Get the Intimidate off on Kongler, which is unfortunate for me because well the attack set is Lord of Kongler. He goes into the Greenosaur, the Venusaur, and I do switch out myself and go right into the Got Silk Realm Wash, expecting him to go for like a close combat or something. And I do double um Realm Wash out and go to Heat Train in case his um Venusaur is speed invested. I don't want my Venusaur to take it or my Realm Wash to hit with a Giga Drain at least this early. He goes to Leech to my Heat Train, which is gonna step away some health on it. And I'm going to hard switch my Heatron out. I want to get rid of the Leech Seed and go right into God Silk Realm Wash. expecting him to switch out. And he does switch out into Liberty the Bronze Eye. Since he switched that out into a Heatron, I'm assuming he is Heat Proof. I go for the Will of His Son Bronze Eye. He sets up Stealth Rocks with it. And I'm actually going to go for a Volt Switch right after this because I don't see any need to keep Realm Wash in. So I'm going to go for the Volt Switch. There's like no damage to Bronze Eye, seeing as how Bronze Eye is pretty bulky and I'm not offensively invested in my Rotom. I do go to Adam Schultz Kongler, I'm really hoping I get a, like a knockoff on it. But it goes to Confusion, I'm like, um, that plan's gonna change because I don't want my um, Kongler to hit himself in Confusion. So, after Bronzong takes Burn Amps, I'm actually gonna hard switch Kongler out again. And I am going to go right into my God Silk Realm Wash. And my opponent is going to switch out as well and go right into Let It Rip the Hitmon Top. So, basically, just switching out at this point. No one has really lost the Pokemon yet. Um, Realm Wash can still leftovers. And my opponent's gonna withdraw his light rip to hit my top and go right to Liberty the Bronze Knight as I do go for a full switch. Probably expecting a Will O Wisp there, but there was really no need for me to go Will O Wisp as you know, Bronze Knight could just switch in waste my turn. I do go to Adam Shift to Kunkle there here. Um, Bronze Knight's gonna heal the leftovers and then take some burn damage. And this is what I'm gonna try to take the that was Bronze Knight. I'm gonna go for a knockoff here. And it does score a kill, it does knock out the Bronze Zong. And that's one down on his side, none down on my side quite yet. And that's great because I got rid of the um, bronze on, so I don't have to worry about the set rocks again. He goes to the steamer option here. I keep my Kongler in because I don't really want to switch Lottius in. I know Lottius is a good switch in the Volcano, one of the very few switch ins to Volcano that is. But I just wanted to you know, get a clean switch to um, Lottius here. So you go for the Mach Punch, and I'm going to allow him to take out my, my Kongler with his Volcano. So that's one down each of our sides. Um, next, I'll come Memories, the Lottius. I'm going to go for a Defog here to blast away the rocks. Now that his Bronze Song is down, there's no way for him to get his rocks back up unless Volcanon somehow learned rocks, which I wasn't aware. But he's just switching his Volcanon. He's going to go right into his Washington, the Rome Wash. I went for the Drift Meter and missed Rome Wash, sadly. I'm going to go for a recovery here in case he wants to go for a Pain Split. I think that he could survive a um, Drift Meter. But he's actually going to go for a Volt Switch here and pivot out. And I'm worried that he's going to go right into his Weavile and Pursuit Trap, my Latias. So it goes to a new country, which is the Weavile, and I'm like, oh shit, do I go for an attack or do I switch out and let him kill? But either way, I, go, I switch out because regardless if I stay in or not, 
for sure would have done a hefty amount of damage. He does go for the knockoff. He does even go for a low kick on my Rotom Watch, expecting me to switch in a Heatran. I do go for the Volt Switch, so that misprediction on his part gave me free switch initiative. So I'm gonna go right into Charlotte the Mega Beedrill here. Uh, I want to get a free protect off. I know it was a predictable move. Move. I knew he was gonna switch out, expecting that. But I didn't want to get the protect off anyways in case he, for some reason, went for ice cold crash or something like that. I didn't want Beedrill pain. So I do go for the protect. Now that Mega Beedrill is. Mega Vault, I'm going for a U-turn, does about 30% to the Mega Venusaur, and I'm going to switch right into my Molten Heat, the Heatran, in case he wants to go for like Hidden Power Fire or something, but his Venusaur is actually going to go for Simpsons. Now, I can stop Rocks here, and that would be a good idea, at least to um, force out the Hitmontop to Rapid Spin. He's going to switch his Venusaur out and go right to let rip the Hitmontop, as I do set up my Rocks. Now, it was pretty risky, in my opinion, of him, because I could have went for Lava Plume right then there and burned his Hitmontop, but I suppose all I really, really wanted to hit my top for was, um, Rapid Spin Spore. So I'm going to hard switch my Heatran out. I'm going to actually go to Rude Jeans, the Lander C here. Get the Intimidate off on his hit on top. He's going to go for a Rapid Spin here to get rid of the Rocks. That's fine. I still got my Heatran alive. It can set Rocks later on if need be. I'm actually going to go for a U-turn on the hit on top. And I'm going to switch Lander C out and go right into Gus with the Roam Watch. Now what I don't understand is why he would go for Close Combat on Lander C, but I guess maybe he predicted that to happen. I'm not sure. I'm going to go for a second close combat, revealing that his hit top is actually speed invested down, speed my room launch, and that will knock it out, Sally. So that's two down on my side, one down on his side. Um, things are getting really hairy here. I'm going to go to Charlotte, the Mega Beedrill, which is named after one of my draft league teams I'm be competing under, the Charlotte Beedrills. And Poison Jab does knock out hit top at minus two. So out comes Greenosaur. Um, he's going to take a U turn from him, from Mega Beedrill. Um, my Heatrill is still alive. I'm going to set up rocks again if need be. It's not really a huge concern though. Unless I want to break the sash of Weebot, which I actually do believe I want to break the sash. So he's gonna try his Greenosaur, the Venusaur, he's gonna go right into Washington, the Rome Wash. As I do go for a Drake meter, expecting a possible switch into Weavile. But Rome Wash is coming, he ends up being the fodder for Lias, and Lias will knock out the Rome Wash. Um, next out will come New Country, the Weavile. Um, Weavile's sash has already been broken. I don't know what I was talking about a little bit while ago, but I'm gonna keep um Lias in there and basically stack it off and let it faint. So, Lias is down, and next out will come Remove Jane's Lander C, gets Intimidate off, I'm pretty sure at minus one. Um, Weavile cannot kill my Lander C for Ice Shard. He's gonna hard switch Weavile out and go right into Greenosaur, the Mega Venusaur. The dude go for a U-turn. That's case scenario he's sitting with Weavile, a U-turn would have probably knocked it out, or most definitely knocked it out, actually. I'm gonna go right back into Charlotte, the Beedrill here. Um, Charlotte is gonna go for a Poison Jab, and that will knock out the Mega Venusaur at this range. So, Venusaur is down. Um, next up, my opponent's going to send out New Country, the uh, Weavile. I want to go for, I'm going to go for Protect here to see what he wants to do, if he wants to go for a Fake Out even. But he goes to Ice Hole Crash, that's fine, and now he's going to go for Ice Shard. The something is not choice in any way, and Poison Jab will finish off the Weavile. So, Weavile is now knocked out. Next up will come Volcanon here. I'm going to go for a Drill Run. I could have went for Poison Jab and probably took it out, and Drill Run unfortunately misses. And Steam Rush is going to kill off my Mega Beedrill, sadly, so... There's that. I should probably try to poison that way. But hey, Lander C is going to come out. He's going to get the Intimidate off on the Volcano. He's going to go for Earthquake. And that will clinch the match for me in, I believe, a 2 0 fashion. So, yeah. I can't really say I made too many mistakes in this match, with the exception of not going for Poison Jab and going for Drill Run instead on the Volcano. I could have not kept Rotom Washing it on the Hitmontown and double on the Lander C, but I had no idea that this Hitmontown would be speed invested. They're not typically speed invested, but. Oh well, what can I say? It was still a good game all, the way, all around by Lance10133. He played a good battle. Unfortunately, the match just didn't favor the match just didn't favor him, and I was able to pull out the win. So, guys, if you like, if you're enjoying these weapon battles, definitely consider um, subscribing to this channel. Leave a like and com comment as well if you guys want to, and I'll definitely catch you on the flip side. And remember, stay salty, Rage Squares. Stay salty. Whoop.